my ministry and my calling is not just to stand and share with you but more also to demonstrate to you that he is the same yesterday today and forever this miracle you're about to witness is a testament of the workings of the supernatural power of God which you're about to see will shock you and equally evoke a deeper sense of your faith who's this is your brother? Yes. Where is he? He's sitting there in the wheelchair. Is he here in the wheelchair? He can't walk. He can't walk? Yes, Baba. What is this picture? Spine. He had an accident. He had an accident? Yes. Is this his spine? Yes. Is it like this now? Yes. Was it operated like this? Yes. Can you see this? This woman brought her brother to Alalia Ministries International, desperate for supernatural healing to come upon him after a devastating truck accident resulted in him being wheelchair bound. After a number of unsuccessful medical operations, doctors declared that this man would never walk and this again. Brother is, is like this. If I check, this is what I was yes. seeing in his bed. So his spine was open like this. Yes. He can't walk. He Crookedly bound to a moving chair in a rather uncomfortable position, there is absolutely no medical procedure that can help him recover from this ailment. Your brother had an accident? Yes. When? He was a truck driver, 2018. 2018, your brother had a car accident. Yes. Pastors are praying for the photo. You see this? Jesus Christ heals. And he was operated. Yes. He was a truck driver. Yes. Which company? He was working at Leopec. He was working in Leopec. Yes. And he had an accident in 2018. Yes. That brought him like this. Yes. His assistant died on the spot, same spot. There were two in the car. Yes. He was a driver. Yes. The assistant died on yes. the spot. Visible on this photo is the gentleman's spinal cord where an approximately 18 centimeter long operation scar can be clearly seen. He's in pain. I believe God can heal him. Amen. Do you believe God can heal him? Yes, yes we believe. Wait, I want to see. The I want to see. Oh. Oh, Lord Jesus. Look at his spine. Oh, God. His vertebral column is harshly bent to the right, with his intervertebral disc protruding in a confining manner. Okay, if you can see it now, you see it when he's healed. Look at her, this daughter of mine, she's here. Pastor he Alf randomly picks is one of the correct? thousands of people who have experienced the undiluted power of God in Alalia Ministries International. This woman was wheelchair bound with all hope of ever recovering gone and the almighty God set her free. She was on the wheelchair. She has since been serving in this house along with countless other men and women alike who came on deathbeds, carried in on the edge of death and by the power of God received complete restoration. Oh family, I'm talking about people who could not walk from birth the blind those who were afflicted by cancers and hiv they're still among us and this is a confirmation that god is at work in our midst and that we have the fruits to prove it he is god all by himself and if you can but remove doubt then you too can be a recipient of him this is bad when they open your spine like this and you say the person with whom he was in the car died that day so it yes. was a serious accident exactly. but jesus will heal today hallelujah glory to jesus i want you to lift your hands and let pray together father in the name of jesus i pray for this young man i speak healing his spine is broken since 2018 the mm. sister said but i believe you this is a crucial Jesus. moment in the spirit and we see the apostle of faith submitting himself completely to the Holy Ghost. Thousands of saints are standing in a corporate faith for this man's deliverance. Pastor Arthur Powell places his left hand centimeters away from this man's thoracic region where this injury has resulted in complete leg paralysis. Pastor Off is commanding healing and we're seeing a vigorous vibration of the power of God in this man's body as the anointing moves along every disc, restoring every motor neuron. 
Notice how Jehovah Rapha has supernaturally straightened this man's spinal cord. As the apostle is laying hands on this guy who came out of a wheelchair, who was in a car accident, hurt his spine. There is something is happening as the apostle of faith is commanding him to rise. Oh yes, oh yes, empowered by God, filled up by the healing power of God. He uses his authority and he commands yes. him to rise up. Yes. He's commanding him to rise up. Oh, at the command, at the command of the apostle of Lucao, empowered by Jesus to heal the sick. He's rising up. Something is happening. Something is happening. Church, I can't hear you. Celebrate Jesus. Hey! The Jehovah Rapha. Jehovah Rapha. Jehovah Rapha is at work. Hey! I can't hear you, I am I. I can't hear you, I am I. Jesus, the healer is here. The Jehovah Rapha. Beloved, the God of Alf Lukau has delivered this man. Jehovah in his mercy has removed paralysis and restored all movements. This man could not walk, let alone move his limbs. But our sovereign God, with whom lies no impossibility, has set him completely free. See the joy on his countenance as he runs, something he never thought possible. No more pain, no more struggle. He will no longer be bound, for God has remembered him. This wheelchair will be nothing but a memory. Let it be known that we serve a living God. This injury was severe. Just look at how deep and long the scar is. Indeed, no doctor or medical practitioner in all their knowledge could have set this man free. But we have a vessel of power, a conduit of the supreme anointing, an instrument yielded in the hand of God, Pastor Alf Lukau. The God we serve Jesus. lives beyond the limits of man. What is impossible with man is possible with God. Well, my name is Maurice Nube. I was, I'm 32 years old. I was driving a truck from Houting to Pumalanga, going to deliver some of the furnitures in Pumalanga. The truck just lost the control and then it hit the big tree. The, big tree. the assistant that I was having, that by that time he just lost his life at the same spot. I then just found myself in the hospital in the following day. I didn't even know what happened from that time because I was in pain. I didn't even know how did I get to the hospital. I stayed up in the hospital for almost one year. When, I, when they discharged me in the hospital, I was paralyzed with the right leg. My spinal cord was, has been broken. I couldn't even walk, I couldn't even eat. I couldn't even feel, especially the right hand side. I was not even feeling anything. It was very difficult for me. I was using a cathet to go to the toilet. I was using some pampas to go to the toilet. What I was managing just to sleep. This thing was a pain for me in the hospital. After the hospital, I went to rehab and then they tried to stretch my leg. On the spinal cord, they put some supportive strength, thinking that I can walk maybe one day or I can get 
uh, hey, better, much better, but it didn't work. They end up sending me to the rehab. I say almost six to seven months in a rehab center. The only thing that changed in a rehab center, I managed to go to my to, to toilet myself. I managed to you not know, use a pamper, but still I couldn't even walk. I couldn't even feel until today when I come to the Church of Men of God here, I was healed. Everything. Actually, what happened is my sister is the one who started to come to this place and then one day she just told me we just have to go to the church and then you can see what can happen maybe you can be lucky because man of the moon of god is actually the one who helps you is very good and he is very is a man of god for real so after that what she did she just took me here and then when i come here inside the church when the pastor was praying I started to feel like there is something inside my leg, there is something inside it, the pain, both of my legs. I started to feel like there is something that is going to come out. I just have that feeling. My legs were feeling like they are taking out something. The joints, it was making like there is something that is getting attached, getting attached into me. When the pastor just come and pray to my side, everything that was inside me, I just feel like there is something that is put in by God, by the past. I can't even explain what happened actually. But I end up just feeling stretching my legs. I end up feeling that power coming into me. I end up, I didn't, I can't even expagorate more. But what I understand is that I just wake up and then I see the, my legs are okay. My spinal cord is fine. The right leg is now working. I don't even, even a pain. I'm healed. I am very, very happy. I want to thank men of God. I want to thank what he did. That which God gives you is yours for the taking. Seven days after Maurice received his healing, he comes back to testify. Let us hear his testimony. Hallelujah, Ministries International. I can't hear you. I can't hear you. We've just seen it. I cannot hear you. Hallelujah, hallelujah, I present to you tonight, somebody give God praise. Hallelujah, 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 I can't hear you, I am I, I can't hear you, I am I, I can't hear you, yeah, make a Holy Ghost noise unto the Lord tonight, give Jesus the praise. Give him the praise. He's worthy. He's worthy. He's worthy. God is worthy. God is worthy. Oh, he's worthy. I say he's worthy. Favor is my name. I say he's worthy. Favor is my name. Oh, oh. Favor is my name. Is my name. Is my name. Favor is my. Favor is my name. Favor is my name. Oh. Favor is my name. Oh. Give him praise. Favor is my name. Oh. Favor is my name. Is my name. Yeah. Favor is my name. Favor is my name. Oh. Favor is my name. Oh. It's my name. Is my name. Yeah. Favor is my name, oh. Favor is my name, oh. It's my name, it's my favor is my name. I can't hear you, AMI. I can't hear you, AMI. Give God the praise. Give him the glory. Don't stop clapping. Don't stop praising. Something is about to break loose in the atmosphere as you are praising the Lord. As you are praising Him, something is being delivered in you and give Him praise. Don't get tired of praising God. This is an unusual miracle. The Bible says that the, at the hands of the apostles, unusual things happen. At the hands of Apostle of Lukau, unusual things happen. Oh God, you are worthy. Somebody give God praise. Give him praise. Give him praise. 
I can't be the only one excited about what God is doing. My beloved brother, are you the same guy I saw that was in that wheelchair? I am the same brother who is now totally, totally, totally. Hey! I am now the new guy which you never seen before. My I want, God. I, I want to thank God. I want to thank men of God, Pastor Alpha Lukao. My God. Actually, I can't even say a word. I can't even believe how am I now. I don't know, I don't know what to say. Jesus. I am now strong. Hey! 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 Oh, he's a good God. I remember you. Introduce yourself again. Yes. You came with him. I you brought him. him. Yes. You pushed him in the wheelchair. Yes. What would you like to say to the Lord when you see your brother like this? I can't even know how to thank men of God right now. I suffered Jesus. with this boy for almost one year. And hey. you know, if we are orphans like this, it's very difficult for, to take care of a mm. person. I want to thank men of God. No weapon formed against us to prosper. Hallelujah! And I thank Papa for the work he done to my brother. Thank oh you God, very he much. wants to say something. Give him an opportunity to say something. Encourage somebody out there. This is our new home now. We belong here. Yeah. Don't be jealous now. Give him praise. If you were blessed by this video, be sure to subscribe to our channel. You can catch Pastor Arthur Lukau on AMI TV on the public bouquet or on our live stream on AMITV.com. You can follow Pastor Arthur Lukau on all social media platforms at Arthur Lukau.